if you use it at all, and definitely if you bring your pooch along, which Bolas encourages but we honestly can't fathom, you'll have to work to make it perfect again, both inside and outside. For example, even drips from washing your hands leave water spots on the aluminum and stainless steel surfaces. Grimy hands will leave smudges. As with any tight quarters, you'll need to move slowly and deliberately to prevent damaging the walls and floor with swinging bags and flailing body parts. The bolus interior would appreciate consistent cleanup, after all, tripping and falling would be bad for the bolus and the body. Minimalistic packing. There's not an overabundance of storage, especially considering there's no overhead storage, and a generous dose of respect, it's like being in a really, really fancy house. After the first glass of red wine, it might be a good idea to move outside, if you know what we mean. As for the aluminum shell, don't park under sappy trees. Bolus walks owners through the steps of how to keep the bolus blindingly shiny, but as we see it, if you can afford a bolus Volterra, you can afford to have someone polish it, and those 5,000 rivets, on the regular dot as I stared at the interior of the bolus, alone in my own thoughts in the cool of the morning, trying to understand who would buy this and if it was practical and if it was worth it and if you'd actually go camping and so on, something popped into my mind that fully satisfied all my ponderings. To my credit, I thought of it before seeing the exact same verbiage on the Bolus website, this was a work of art, and what I was doing, just staring at its lines and curves and colors, was exactly what I was supposed to be doing. From its etch placards to La Cumbre interior color palette, the Bolus was built to be seen. Therefore, the particular logistics of how one chooses to use it are inconsequential, with no right or wrong answers. Like all fine art, there's room for interpretation and creativity, room for bending the rules or strictly adhering to them. Every owner is going to relate to his or her bolus in a unique, personal way, and all ways are acceptable. Bolus wouldn't tell us how many trailers it has sold, but like any premium product, it's bound to be a relatively low number. You would be hard pressed to find a bolus for sale, and you definitely won't find one on a dealer lot. Truthfully, you will probably never see one on the road, at a campsite, or anywhere, we certainly never have. Your likely only experience with one will be online. Interestingly, many bolus owners buy them sight unseen, having never actually seen one in real life. They are handmade to order, and the process of sifting through 56 million possible interior color and material combinations takes place directly between bolus and the owner.